Welcome to Speedway Harley-Davidson. Today we're going to take out this 2022 Harley-Davidson Fat Bob with the 114 motor. This very unique styling compared to what Harley-Davidson usually puts out as far as their motorcycles. But we're going to talk about this bike today and take it for a test ride and let you know my thoughts. <laughs> before we mount up and take this baby for a spin, let's do a quick walk around and let's try to notice some of the differences between this Fat Bob and any of the other Harley Davidson motorcycles. Tell me down in the comments, what do you notice immediately? This is a soft tail model. It's still gonna have the soft tail suspension. It has the 114 Milwaukee 8 that's putting out plenty of power and torque. And by all means, it's still a Harley Davidson to the core. Now, if you haven't noticed as of yet and you have not commented, the headlight is extremely different from any of your other Harley Davidson. It's gonna have that rectangular shape and it's full LED. It's a lot different from your typical circular headlight that most Harley Davidsons have. Let's mount up and get her on the road. Still has that Harley Davidson grunt that you get from your Milwaukee 8 engine. Now the Milwaukee 8 is a lot more refined. It's a much smoother engine as far as how it feels. It's not gonna give you that vibration that you typically feel from some of the older Harley Davidsons. Now the seating position is a comfortable cruiser style seating position. It's more relaxed. You got your feet at like a 90 degree angle and I'm six feet tall. The handlebars are at a nice position for you to have a relaxed seating position. Um, I do feel like some T-bars would be a little bit nicer on it. From this seat, I am feeling lower lumbar support, which I feel like you definitely need on this model because this is going to be one of your sportier Harley Davidsons. It's going to be one of your selections if you're looking for one of the Harleys that's going to give you more of that sport feel you're going to look at this or you'll probably be looking at the lowrider s so these are kind of the choices you have besides the sportster s um which is harley davidson's newer revolution motor but when it comes to the milwaukee eights and you're looking for that sportier ride you're going to be looking at a fat bob a lowrider s the pegs do feel like they are a little bit higher which is going to be perfect for you being able to get a, a good lean angle on it. As you can see, I got here. The bike definitely leans over with no problem. Now, one thing I do wanna mention up front is the front tire. You're gonna get a 150 front tire on this bike, which is typically wider than some of the other cruisers. It's gonna give you that fat tire look where it's kind of beefy and it looks, it looks, um, it gives it more of that aggressive stance. If I have to say anything, I'd say this bike looks like it could be in a future Mad Max movie or something that was roadkill all day long or something apocalyptic. Maybe something Daryl from The Walking Dead would be on. Now, as far as your response you're getting from the motor, it's there. It feels sporty. It is a sportier ride. You got an excellent lean angle, as you can see here. You could take these corners with no problem. This thing will lean right over. And it feels well balanced, as well as I feel like I have complete control of the motorcycle based off where my controls are. So if someone's looking to transition from a sport bike to a Harley Davidson or a cruiser, or they just want, they still want that sporty ride, but they want more of a comfortable experience or a comfortable ride hello people then this would be a perfect option for you the one thing where i could say harley davidson could have improved on is where they have the tachometer at 
I do notice that I do have to look down at my tachometer um, if I want to see actually where <laughs> what speed i'm doing or the rpms i feel like that smaller tachometer that the street bob has that would be right there may have been may have been a better solution for this specific model we're gonna we're gonna go down here real quick and let's uh let's open it up a little bit see what she got oh my god yeah the bike is definitely a machine that performs you feel the torque. I literally felt my feet lift off the pegs slightly when I accelerated. But that lower lumbar support makes you feel secure because you're locked into your seating position. And as you can see, you can take it around this curve with no problems whatsoever. It handles the curve. It has those big beefy tires that make you or help you feel confident and they're gonna stick to the road. And I feel like personally, if you wanted to do just a little bit of going off-roading or riding through the grass, the design of these tires may make it possible. Now, if you go do that off-road and uh, do some crazy stuff on it, not held liable. I'm not saying do it. I'm saying I feel like it could be done. So if you're looking for a sporty looking machine that's going to give you performance, as well as be a fun ride i feel like this is a excellent option and i also feel like this is a excellent spot for a photo so i'm gonna do it even though i'm not supposed to be over here at all we're gonna we're gonna take a picture we are going to take a picture right here but take a look at the bike it is beautiful it has an amazing look as it's so aesthetically pleasing and it's something different it's something extremely different from your typical harley davidson but it still has that harley davidson touch let me know y'all thoughts down in the comments what do you think of the look of the fat bob it's been out for a while so i'm pretty sure a lot of you have seen it but you may not have paid attention to this motorcycle because it does not look like your traditional harley davidson but what are your thoughts on this bike? You still have the adjustable suspension in the rear right here that you can just adjust on the fly just by turning that knob with your hand. You're gonna get your full features that all your other Harley Davidsons are gonna have. There's blinker on each side, but you have that very unique and stylish look. As I was talking, look at the beefy tire in the front. They also went ahead and put Harley Davidson. It looks like it's inscribed into the wheel. I don't know if you can see that right there. Just those small subtle touches just bring this bike to life. And as you can see, you got plenty of travel in the rear for your suspension. For if you're going up to do some canyon carving, getting out there to just have a good time on your bike. You also got your passenger pillion right here with rear foot pegs. Now, I don't know how comfortable that seat is going to be for your passenger, but it's there. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. Like and comment below. What are your thoughts on this motorcycle? Let us know any other videos you'd like to see about this motorcycle, on this motorcycle, or on any other motorcycle that we have up in the dealership. But again, remember to subscribe to the channel, hit that bell notification, give this video a big old thumbs up, and let's start a conversation down in the comments. But I'll check you out in that next video.